Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to do a tutorial on Hubstaff time tracking. In this video, we're going to talk all about Hubstaff. We're going to show you its membership plans and take you through the sign up and account setup processes. And we will also show you all the steps you need to do to track the time of your employee. So watch this video till the end to better understand all these things. Let's start with a brief introduction about Hubstaff and who would want to use it. We know that globally today businesses are largely depending on remote operations. But the major disadvantage with remote operations is tracking people who are working remotely. Well, that's where Hubstaff like applications come into play. Hubstaff is a time tracker and it helps in managing field or remote teams. As you can see, this is the Hubstaff homepage. And the major features or uses of Hubstaff are time tracking, productivity monitoring, reporting, GPS tracking, online timesheets, and automated payroll. It allows you to easily and accurately track time. It's a clean, lightweight application that is available for desktop, web, mobile, and also as an extension on Chrome. And here you can see a screenshot of how it looks like on web as well as how it looks like on mobile. Now that we've done a brief introduction to what Hubstaff is, let's look at the pricing and membership plans. So click on the pricing tab at the top navigation bar. And you'll end up on this page where you can see that you can choose the plan that's right for your team. And you have the options to toggle between annual and monthly over here. Scroll down and you will see that there are three major types of Hubstaff's application. One is Hubstaff Time which is a simple time tracking and reporting feature. The second one is Hubstaff Desk, which allows you to get proof of work and also time track and manage your team. And the last one is Hubstaff Field, which is good for GPS location tracking and also team management. Since this video is all about time tracking, we are going ahead with the first one. So click on it. And you will see there are four different plans underneath this one. The first one is time free, which is obviously free and it is applicable only for one user. The second one is the time startup plan, which is available at $5.83 per user per month. The third plan is the time pro plan, which is available at $8.33 per user per month. And last but not the least is the enterprise plan, which is a customized plan. And for this, you will need to contact Hubstaff's customer care to know the pricing and everything. We're going to sign up with the free account. So we're going to click on choose time free. And it'll take you to this page, which is basically the sign up page. Here you will need to enter your full name and enter your email address. Then set a password. And then click the box that says I agree to the terms privacy policy and DPA. And once all this is done, you can go ahead and click the create my account button. Now it says processing, which simply means your account is being made. The next step is a few steps that you will need to reach your dashboard. And that is to set up your business and how many members are there or if you want to invite someone. So let's start. The first question that is here is, are you creating a new organization or are you joining an existing company account? So we're going to create a new organization and I'm going to select create a new organization. I'm a business owner. The next question is, where does your team work? And there are three options over here in an office, in the field and office and field. We're going ahead with the in an office option. In the next page, you will need to create your organization. So enter a name for your organization. Then select the team size from this drop down menu. You have options over here. We are going ahead with the 2 to 10 option. Then select the industry. You've got tons and tons of industries over here since I have entered Zoya Fashion. So I'm going ahead with retail. You can also invite a manager, which we're going to do right now. So enter the email address of your manager. You can also answer this question over here. How did you find out about Hubstaff? But this is optional. Even invite a manager is optional. If you don't want to do it now, you can do it later, but we're doing it right now. And then there is the option to tick a box which says I currently use a project management tool like Asana, Trello, etc. with my team. If you are using such things, then you need to click this box and then go ahead and click the continue button. Next, you will be asked, what do you want to do with Hubstaff? And you've got plenty of options over here like monitor desktop activity, approve timesheets, submit expenses, 
send and receive invoices, schedule shifts and time off, and pay my team. If you only need time tracking, then you need to click this box. That's what we're going to do. And then click the continue button. Now, this is the next part of this video, which is creating a project. For this, you will need to have some project names. Now, if you see ahead of you sales and marketing and these apply to your business, you can go ahead with them. Or if you do not want them, you can just click this cross icon and click the plus icon to add a new project and put your own name. Since I'm OK with sales and marketing, I'm going ahead with them and clicking the continue button. Next, it will ask you to choose a plan. And these are some things that I've said already before. So we're not going into detail, but these are the three plans under the time tracking option of Hub Staff. We're not going to choose a plan now. We're just going to scroll down and click the pick a plan later button. And thus you have completed your registration and everything. The account setup is done and we have this welcome message to Hub Staff. There's also a video tutorial which you can go through if you want to learn more about how you can use Hub Staff to time track your employees. But we're going to go ahead and click on the go to dashboard button over here. This takes us to the dashboard. As you can see, this is how the Hub Staff application will look like on the browser. Now let's go ahead and track time. As you can see on the top navigation side, there is this widget that uh, opens the timer. It's zero now because we have not started it. So let's start tracking somebody's time. When you click on track time, a small window will open. And on this pop-up window, you can see that there is no limit set. And today is showing zero, zero because we have not started tracking time. Then there is a project drop down. If you click on it, you will see all the different projects that you have started on your organization in Hub Staff. And you can click on any. I'm going ahead and clicking sales. And then to do. We need to create a to do because we have not done anything yet. So we're going to click on add a to do. On add a to do, there are these details you need to fill in. First is enter the to do tasks name. Make products list. Then we need to assign somebody. So I'm just going to for now assign myself and save. So once that is done, then you can click this button to start time tracking. And now you can see the time tracker has been switched on. You can click on this cross button so it will close and it is still going on as you can see over here. OK, now you can see that it's almost one minute that we have started tracking and we're going to stop it right now. So you can see I've stopped the tracker. Now let's go to the Timesheets tab to see how it looks like. And this is how it will look like. So the project's name is shown, that is sales. And then the to-do name is also shown that I'd created, make products list. And then there is a duration that this particular person has worked on and the time duration as well. Then there is the actions tab that you can use for edit time entry, split time entry and delete time entry as well. And in case you want to add time, let's see how that works. So say I want to add time because maybe some time wasn't added because I did not click on the timer. So let's just select the project. It's sales and the to do make product list. And we can add time, like time span 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. It has recorded. And we can also select whether it is billable or not. And then there is also the box for reason. So we can just say forgot to start stop timer. And in case the employee wants to add a note, we can add a note as well over here and then save. So you can see over here that there is this time that has been added over here and it is one hour. So totally today, the person has worked for one hour and one minute. So this is how you can track time for not just one employee, but different employees under different teams, under different projects. That's how Hub Staff will help you keep a track of your business and all its operations, whether in field or remote. So this brings this video to an end. We have completed our tutorial on Hub Staff time tracking. We truly hope it has benefited you. If you have any suggestions or you want us to make a video on any particular topic, then feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed.